Hello viewers, welcome again to this segment. In this segment, we shall be multiplying and dividing fractions. Before you continue with this segment, please make sure that you view the multiplying and dividing integers because you need to know the rules for multiplying signs and also dividing signs. You need to know those rules. We shall apply those rules here. Okay, we shall start with multiplying. Let's take an example. Example 1. 4 over 15 times 9 over 20. In this case, look at the sign. What is the sign before 4 over 15? It's positive sign. What is the sign before 9 over 20? It's also a positive sign. When you multiply fractions, all you need to do is multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. Multiply along. I will say multiply along. Don't multiply across. Multiplying across means cross multiplication. Just multiply along. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction. Similarly, Multiply the denominator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. So we have 4 over 15 times 9 over 20. I will solve this using two ways. You can use two methods to solve this. The first method which I like, which is the easiest to me, is we have, check the numerators here, this is 4 and 9. Check the denominators here. This is 15 and 20. Now, is there any number that can, that can divide the numerator and also divide the denominator without a remainder? Some number that can divide the numerator and also divide the denominator without a remainder. Let's look at 4 and 20. 4 can divide 4, gives you 1. 4 can divide 20, gives you 5. And then let's look at 9 and 15. 3 can divide 9, gives you 3. 3 can divide 15, gives you 5. So you now have 1 over 5 times 3 over 5. If you now look, there is no other number that can divide the numerator, any of the numerators, and also divide any of the de denominators without a remainder. So since there is no other number, just multiply along. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction. It gives you 1 times 3 over. Multiply the denominator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. 5 times 5. And then this will give you 3 over 25. And that will be your answer. Now, if you don't like this method, or if you are confused about this, you can just say 4 over 15 times 9 over 20. And you just do 4 times 9 over 15 times 20. And that will give you 36 over 300. And this 36 over 300, you can now simplify. When you simplify, you can divide by 3, divide by 3 gives you 12 over 100, divide by uh, 2, divide by 2, gives you 6 over 50, then the 6 over 50, divide by 2, divide by 2, gives you 3 over 25. So if you compare these two cases, in this first method, we simplify, then we multiply. In this, in this second method, we multiply, then we simplify. So, two ways of multiplying fractions. You can either simplify and multiply, or you multiply and then you simplify. Whichever way suits you, that's fine. Okay, number two. 4 over 15 times negative 9 over 20. This is still the same thing as this, but we have a negative sign here. 
So positive times negative will give you negative. This will give us negative 3 over 25. So, I mean, that is pretty much easy. Yeah, if you just do it, there's nothing uh, 2 here. Okay, 4 into 4 is 1. 4, 4 into 20 is 5. 3 into 9, 3. 3 into 15, 5. And that is 1 times negative 3 over 5 times 5, which is negative 3 over 5. I always like to simplify before I multiply. That's what I always uh, like to do. I'm sorry, this is negative 3 over 25. 5 times 5 is 25. Yeah. I always want to uh, simplify before I multiply. Okay, number 3. You have 5 over 6 times negative 4 over 5 times negative 9 over 10. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times negative is positive. So our answer will be positive. Now, we can we can simplify then multiply. Actually, I know my answer will be positive. So negative times negative is positive. That's why I didn't I don't want to be bothered with a negative anymore. My answer will be a positive. So we can simplify then multiply. 5 divided 5 is 1. 5 divided 5 is 1. 2 divided 4 is 2. 2 divided 6 is 3. 3 divided 3 is 1. 3 divided 9 is 3. 2 divided 1 is... 2 divided 2 is 1. 2 divided 10 is 5. So actually, I have here 1 times 1 times 3 over 1 times 1 times 5. And that gives me 3 over 5. If you, you can also do it multiply then simplify. If you do it that way, multiply then simplify, then you have 5 times, of course my negative and negative is positive. So 5 times 4 times 9 over 6 times 5 times 10. So this will give you 5 times 4 is 20 times 9, 180 over 6 times 5 is 30 times 10, 300. And then 180 over 300. Uh, let me simplify by dividing by 10. Since both of them have zeros, this gives me 18 over 30. Then I can divide by 6. This gives me uh, 3 over 5. There you go, the same thing. Now number 4. Number 4 is the division problem. 8 over 5 divided by negative 18 over 25. When you have a division problem, division of fractions, all you need to do is convert the division to multiplication. And in so doing, when you convert the division into multiplication, then you need to find the reciprocal of the second fraction. You have two fractions dividing themselves. Write the first fraction down, convert the division sign into multiplication. And when you do that, go ahead and flip the second fraction. What do I mean by flip? Find the reciprocal. Find the reciprocal of the second fraction. So if you find the reciprocal of this second fraction, this gives you 25 over negative 18. So you have 8 over 5 times 25 over negative 18. Now, 25 over negative 18, we don't like writing negative to be at the denominator. So you can go ahead and write it as, you can go ahead and write it as negative 25 over 18. Some people will be confused here. Let me explain. When you do positive divided by negative, it gives you a negative. When you do negative divided by positive, it gives you a negative. So, whichever way, it still gives you a negative. So, whether you say positive 25 divided by negative 18, or whether you say negative 25 divided by positive 18, the answer will still give you a negative. So, and we don't like writing negative at the denominator. We take negative as if it's 
a small person compared to positive. So small people, we want them to stay on, on top while big people stay at the bottom. So that's why we put the negative uh, there. That's why we put the negative there as the numerator. So actually we can now simplify them, multiply. 5 divided 5 is 1. 5 divided 25, negative 25 is negative 5. 2 can divide 8 gives you 4. 2 can divide 18 gives you 9. So actually we have 4 times negative 5 over 1 times 9. And that gives you negative 20 over 9. You can just leave your answer as an improper fraction, unless they tell you to, uh, to, to, to leave it as a mixed number, then you leave it as a mixed number. Okay, number 5. Negative 8 over 11 divided by 2. This means division by 2. So this is negative 8 over 11 divided by 2 over 1. That is what it means. 2. Negative 8 over 11 divided by 2 over 1. 2 means 2 over 1. So like I said, you flip the second one. Negative 8 over 11, when you convert the division to multiplication, find the reciprocal of the second fraction, 1 over 2. Then simplify and multiply. 2 will divide 2, 1. 2 will divide 8, 4. So this is negative 4 times 1 over 11 times 1. And that gives you negative 4 over 11. Negative 4 over 11. Another example, second to the last example. 15 over 16 divided by 3. This means 15 over 16 divided by 3 over 1. Which is 15 over 16 times 1 over 3. If, when you convert the division to multiplication, Find the reciprocal of the second fraction, or flip it. So simplify and multiply. 3 will divide 3, 1. 3 will divide 15, 5. So this is 5 times 1 over 16 times 1. And that gives you 5 over 16. 5 out of 16. Okay, the last one. The last but not the least. Number 7, we have 7 over 6 divided by 9 over 10. This will give you 7 over 6 times 10 over 9. Okay, can we simplify? Yes, we can. 2 divided 6 is 3. 2 divided 10 is 5. Can we simplify for that? No. So this is 7 times 5 over 3 times 9. And that gives you 35 over 27. You can leave your answer as an improper fraction, but if, if your instructor requires you to, to simplify it, then you simplify it. Of course, if you simplify it, gives you one whole number. Um, one whole number, 8 over 27. That's what it gives you. All right, viewers. Well, thank you for listening and uh, if you have questions as usual feel free to go to my website and ask your questions or feel free to uh, make a comment on the YouTube uh, for my moments of conscience I want to wish every one of you good tidings seasons greetings this holiday season happy holidays Merry Christmas and Happy New Year bye